For this episode of Social Tech Battlefield, we're going to be taking a look at the iOS 6 and iOS 7 versions of Siri and see how they compare against each other. So let's go ahead and start the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. It's good to see you. I can't see you, but you can see me. But I'm your host, Mark Watson, otherwise known as Soldier Knows Best. And now in this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Siri on iOS 6 versus the iOS 7 version. Now, iOS 7 isn't released out to the public just yet, so we know it still is a work in progress. But we can already see some major differences between the two. So let's going to start this show right now and take a look at both of these versions. All right, so it's going to get this show on the road. On the right hand side, I have an iPod Touch running iOS 6, and on the left hand side, I have an iPhone 5 running iOS 7. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how different Siri sounds on iOS 7 versus iOS 6. So I'm going to go and load up Siri on iOS 6 first. Tell me a joke. What did one iPhone say to the other iPhone? I used to know this one. All right, now iOS 7. Tell me a joke. I don't think you'd understand a joke in my language. They're not so funny anyway. So you can see Siri on iOS 7 sounds a little bit more natural. I mean, the words just kind of flow together uh, better. Where Siri on iOS 6, it sounds like you are typing into a machine that's spitting the words back out to you. And so Apple has done a really good job at making Siri a little bit more fluid in the way she talks back to you. Now, staying on voice for a second, in iOS 7, you have the option to change Siri to a male voice. And we'll go ahead and do that here in the settings. And we're going to see how he sounds. Tell me a joke. All right, so that's the male voice, and he sounds just as fluid as the female voice in iOS 7. All right, now it's going to take a look at some of the UI differences here between iOS 6 and iOS 7. What's the weather going to be like this week? Okay, here's the weather for this week. All right, so you can see that Apple has this transparent theme going around in iOS 7. So um, right now when you're doing something to Siri, you can still see in the background what you were working on. And now it just has my home screen. But if I was writing an email, I'll still be able to see a little bit of that. And so that just kind of allows for a little bit more of a, a cleaner interface. Uh, where iOS 6, I do like the fact that they have everything right here in one layout. You don't need to scroll up and down like you need to do um, in iOS 7. It's not a big deal, but I do like that fact of iOS 6. But um, iOS 7 just has a, a lot cleaner of, of, of a look to it. And also, too, you can Notice when I am talking to Siri on iOS 7, you can kind of see the sound waves at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. What's the weather like in Paris? It should be nice in Paris, France for this week. And so I just... 24 degrees Fahrenheit and partly sunny. I shut up. <laughs> but I just like that little effect there. And there's little touches like that throughout iOS 7 that's giving it, you know, its own unique look. And they have added that here in Siri. Now, one of the things that I like to use Siri for a lot is for finding information about movies. Now, you can see the layout is different here on iOS 7 versus iOS 6. But one feature that you can do um, in iOS 7 now as I go through this is that you can now buy movies via Fandango within Siri. Uh, whereas on iOS 6, you kind of just see the time for the movie. You can't really do anything else um, at that point. So that's one nice little feature as far as movies. And somebody just emailed me. But anyway, that's one nice feature that I like in iOS 7 as far as Siri. All right, now one last thing I want to show you is that Siri has a little bit more control over your system in iOS 7. Turn off Bluetooth. I can't do that for you. My apologies. All right, so I already knew Bluetooth was off, but Siri hasn't been messing up for me for this video, so I just got annoyed with it. But anyway, um, I can turn Bluetooth off um, and on here in the settings with Siri, and also too, I can change my brightness. I can turn Wi-Fi off and little things like that. Now, why you would do this? Because now you have Control Center, you can quickly just go into that and turn it off. I don't know, uh, but Siri has that, you know, a little bit more control over it, and that may be a sign of things to come uh, about Siri being able to kind of open up your system a little bit more. So anyway, guys, it's just been a quick look at a couple of differences here with Siri on iOS 7 versus Siri on iOS 6. And so this is still the beta for iOS 7, so things can definitely change by the final release in the fall. And so if, if there is some major differences and major features that are released for iOS 7 um, is regarding Siri, I'll be visiting this video at that time. But other than that, guys, this has been iOS 6, iOS 7, Siri. All right, so that wraps up another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. I will be back next week for sure. But I want you to leave a comment down below what you think about this video and what you think about the differences in Siri. Are you liking the new changes in iOS 7? Or what are some things that you would like to see improved in iOS 7 that Apple has not shown us yet? Leave that comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you next week. Peace out.